Welcome to my YouTube channel. Our today's lesson is about reciprocals. To get reciprocal of three quarter, we are interchanging our, our numerator to become the denominator and our denominator to become the numerator. That is, our denominator goes up, our denominator comes down. Such a way that when you multiply the number with its reciprocal, you get one. Let's prove this. When you cross multiply here, by 4, 1, by 4, it's 1. By 3, 1, by 3, 1. 1 times 1, it's 1. And 1 times 1, it's 1. Therefore, the reciprocal of 3 quarters, or 3 or 4, it's 4 by 3. And we have already proved. Or when you multiply the reciprocal and the original number, we should always get 1. Let's do our next example. The reciprocal of 2 over 11 is, remember we are saying, we are interchanging the denominator to become our numerator and our numerator to become our denominator. Therefore, it shall be 11 over 2. And this is our reciprocal. Let's try to prove it. We are saying when you multiply the reciprocal and the original number should get 1. So 2 over 11, multiply by 11 over 2. By 11, 1. By 11 is 1. By 2, 1. By 2, 1. Therefore, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. Therefore, it's correct that the reciprocal of 2 over 11 is 11 over 2. Let's do another question. In case we are given a whole number like 8 to get the reciprocal. How do we get the reciprocal of 8 and yet it doesn't have a denominator for them to interchange? Here, we make 8 as a fraction by dividing 8 by 1. Remember, 8 divided by 1 is still 8. So, 8 divided by 1, our denominator being 1 becomes our numerator. Our numerator being 8 now goes down to become the denominator. And by this, now we have gotten the reciprocal of 8. We can prove. So, we are saying that a reciprocal of a number multiplied by the number should always give you 1. Therefore, 8 multiplied by 1 over 8. Remember also here, it's over 1. When you cross multiply, you will get 1. Therefore, the reciprocal of 8 is 1 over 8. What about 7? Being a whole number, we are saying, if it's a whole number, its denominator it's 1. Because 7 divided by 1 is still 7. Therefore, now we get our reciprocal. Our numerator 7 goes down and our denominator 1 comes up. And therefore, the reciprocal of 7 is 1 over 7. And I'm saying you can prove it. 7 multiplied by 1 over 7. Remember, any whole number the denominator is always 1. When you cross multiply, you get 1. And therefore, 1 over 7 is the reciprocal of 7. Let's see another question. This question is a mixed fraction. So how do we get reciprocal of a mixed fraction? The first step is to change the mixed fraction into improper fraction. So the first step, we are changing this one to improper fraction. So 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 over 3. Once we convert our mixed fraction to improper fraction, we can now change our denominator to be our numerator and our numerator to become the denominator. So the answer is going to be 3 over 14. So 3 over 14 is the reciprocal of 4 and 2 over 3. We can as well prove this by multiplying the number times the reciprocal to see if you are going to get 1. So change this one to improper fraction shall be 12 plus 2 is 14 over 3 multiplied by 3 over 14. When you cross multiply, you get 1. And that's a proof that this is the reciprocal of 4 and 2 over 3. Let's also have another example. In this question, it, uh, 3 is a whole number, 4 over 5 is a fraction. So this is a mixed fraction. Before getting the reciprocal, 
the first thing you change it into proper fraction so 5 times 3 it's 15 15 plus 4 it's 19 after getting this 19 over 5 now we write it into the reciprocal our denominator which is 5 becomes our numerator and our numerator 19 becomes our denominator Therefore, the reciprocal of 3 and 4 over 5 is 5 over 19. We can as well prove it. So 3, 4 over 5 multiplied by 5 over 19. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 plus 4 is 19 over 5 multiplied by 5 over 19. We cross multiply and our answer is 1. Therefore, 5 over 19 is the reciprocal of 3 over 5. This concept is very important when it comes to division of fraction by fractions. Also, when solving for unknown using algebra. I wish you the best. Kindly subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment and you can as well share. Also, remember to practice. Remember practice makes perfect. Let's go watch Bye-bye.